What's going on guys? This is your first time to the channel. My name is Jordan. This is Modern Day Muscle. I came out with some new merch. Got some Charger shirts if you're interested. This is the first time I'm showing it on YouTube. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm pretty sure you've seen them. But check it out real quick. This is the homie Paul. Challenger. We're wearing the Challenger merch right now. But we're gonna get to this video. Uh, the thing that we're gonna do today is we're gonna install the SRT paddle shifters on my wheel. First things first, you wanna disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. That way there's no power in the car. That bird. You hear that bird? Yeah. Shit. While Paul is disconnecting the battery, I figure I'll show you guys the SRT shifters. Shout out to uh, my friend Danny. He was able to hook me up with them. I did not buy these on eBay. I was able to get a, uh, a hookup from my friend, so don't get confused. These are how the old shifters look. See how short they are. So if I were to put the, the new shifter up, look how much higher it sits. It's gonna look good. Let's turn negative terminal here. All right. See, I have it down to the side, just to make sure there's no power in the vehicle. So we're gonna mess with the airbag at this point. So you wanna show it nothing out. You wanna make sure everything is perfectly fine once it's done. What you wanna do, you wanna feel for a spring inside this tiny hole in the airbag. This tiny hole here, you wanna feel for the spring inside there. With the... This is the tool we're using to get it out. And you're gonna push it in. You feel for the spring. And then release. And then you do the same thing, repeat the same thing on the other side. There we go, yeah. That was weird. And we'll just set the air back up top. I think it'll just sit like that. That looks mm -hmm. good right there, bam. So that was a total of what, like three screws? Uh-huh. Left side. Oh, it's not easy. So basically what happened, you might see a different background, but we had the wrong tools. Um, don't clown us in the comments, but yeah, we had the wrong tools and we went and got this uh, socket wrench and it made everything a whole lot easier. So I definitely recommend the socket wrench. So basically what's going on here, since I didn't really do a good job of showing it on video, is Paul is routing the wire that's on the uh, right paddle shifter through a small little hole that's already made in the wheel. And uh, there's basically a plug that's behind the airbag that you need to connect so that um, the shifter can actually work. This was done on the uh, left-hand side as well, the same exact method. Um, after you get done plugging it up, you basically route the wire behind, um, looks like there's like a channel to where the wire can um, fall in line so it's not in the way. And then you uh, screw it back up. It takes three screws to screw it back up and then it should work just fine. Here's the final product, guys. This looks so much better. You turn it on. Oh, just so you guys know, we had to take the taser out because it was throwing off the uh, the radio. It was reading as Chrysler, and that wasn't good. My uh, my backup camera wasn't working. Everything once we uh, we put the radio back on, so we had to take the taser off and then um, unhook the battery and then put the battery back on and it fixed itself. So now I just basically have to reset all my taser settings, which um, I did another video on that. That's super easy. I'll do it like in five minutes. But yeah, the look on these, let me focus for you guys. The look on these look great. These look amazing. And just to prove that they work, if I hit the, the 
the upshift. See, there we go. Works. Just to compare, let's bring out the old one real quick. Which one is this? This is the uh, the downshift paddle. Here it is, right here. Oops. This is the downshift paddle right here. Just a night and day difference. Like, look how much smaller this one is compared to that. Crazy. All right, guys, that was a simple, easy mod to do. We had a little bit of difficulty in the beginning, but we ended up fixing it. Shout out to Paul. Concrete 392, make sure you go follow him. That's right. Hit me up on, on Instagram. Instagram. Instagram, Concrete 392. Yeah. But with that being said, my name is Jordan. This is Modern Day Muscle, and I'll catch you on the next video.